In this video, I'm going to show you how to put in an incident report. There's two types of things that you can do. So it's the icon that you see on the very bottom of the screen is a triangle with an exclamation mark in it. You're going to click on that. And your options are, put in, are to put in an incident report or a software issue. So let's say in the event your computer is acting up, the visuals aren't right, or it's just acting abnormal, you can click on software issue. And what that will do is that it will take a screenshot, a snapshot of your lap, of your computer screen. And that's going to be sent to IT. So then you can follow up with a phone call and um, explain to them what's happening, but they will also have a visual um, on their end. The other option is to put in an incident report. So we're going to choose incident. And you can put in in incident reports for patients, visitors, or employees. So first you'll have to decide what type of incident it is and then choose the safety issue that you're reporting. So it can be anything from equipment failure, a fall, a HIPAA violation, perception of care, um, any delay in patient care would be a perception of care. So for today we'll say that my patient fell and then it will ask if you want to enter this anonymously. You can enter anything anonymously. Um, if you wish to not be known as to that you're the one that's putting in the incident report. But if you want feedback on the problem, then we need you to not enter it anonymously so that we can come back to you with more questions or um, let you know what the result of the investigation was or if the problem was resolved. So I'm going to enter not anonymously and then in the identifier it wants to know which patient I am, um, I am reporting. So I'm going to put my patient that's currently in the ER and I'm gonna make sure I pick today's date. And then you will see that in the header, everything on that patient will default. So I have a visit number, a medical record number, and then I can continue. So first I'm gonna identify what type of fall it was. And then it brings me into the incident report. So anything that has the star is required. Obviously, the more information that you have, the better. If you put in the patient, according to the patient's room, and the patient's still currently in that room, it will default the location to the ER. The contact type is required. The question is, who did you notify? So in my case, I'm the nurse, I would notify the physician. So I will click on that arrow and choose physician. And then it wants to know what physician I notified. So I'm gonna type in the name and then I'm gonna click on when it appears at the top. <clears throat> and if I've made a mistake, I'm just, I can just delete it and find the one that I needed. First I have to choose physician and then the provider. So I'll click on the provider's name. All that information that um, for them will appear at the bottom and then you'll click OK. And as soon as you try to save, if there's missing items, it will bring you to those items. And it wants a detailed description of what happened. So try to be as descriptive as you can. 
And then it also, one of the requirements is if the patient was offered, um, if the patient was offered treatment. And let me try to save it and it will, okay, so then it files the incident report and that's all you have to do for incident reporting. And then risk management will contact you if they have any more questions or if your manager has any more questions, you will see your incident in this risk management. <clears throat> icon. So right now it doesn't appear because it's a test and it hasn't been kicked back to me from risk management or to my manager or director. But if it did, this is where you would find it. Okay, so just to review that one more time, it is in your regular screen in your options on the right hand side, the risk management option. So I would encourage you to put in any near misses, um, any delayed inpatient care, because the more that we know of the issues, safety, safety issues, the more results we'll get.